Hi there, this is Shallon with Bible Journaling Ministries Creative Team. And today I want to show you and Bible journal along with you as we use Distress Inks, Texture Paste, Embossing Powder, a Posca Pen, and Bubble Wrap to create this beautiful journaling entry for John 17, 17. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so as we get started, let's take a look at this beautiful three-page kit for John 17, 17. Your word is truth. And the scripture says, sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. So on the first page, you have beautiful flowers and books. You have um, butterflies and crosses, your tab and your wording. You have some washi down at the bottom here. On the second page, you have your faith dex cards, more washi, some uh, a lantern, a candle, a bird, uh, more books and flowers. Beautiful, beautiful kit. The third page has your larger elements with the wording, your word is truth, and books and, and a lantern here. Just a beautiful floral um, kit with the birds. And I just love this kit. It's so pretty. We're also going to be using in this tutorial Jim Holtz Distress Ink. And I have Abandoned Coral, Vintage Photo, and Saltwater Taffy. So I'm going to be using these three Distress Inks. I'm also going to be using Ranger um, Texture Paste and Opaque. And I'm going to be mixing my inks with my texture paste. I'm going to be using a stamp just that I have on hand. I don't even know where it came from. I'm going to be using the Ranger Embossing Ink Pad and some Wow Embossing Powder in Metallic Copper. Super fine. Um, you'll need a heat tool to use with the embossing powder. Um, I'm just learning how to start embossing and using these products, so bear with me. We'll be learning together, um, but I do want to, uh, I've already put washi over my verse here, and so I don't want that to be um, covered, so I went ahead and, and washied over that. I've got my page protector back here, and I'm not going to be using the tab in this entry, um, but I wanted to use, oh, I'm also going to be using some, just some bubble wrap uh, or bubble packing stuff um, to add some texture as well. So as we get started, I'm not using, I'm not doing any kind of page prep or anything like that. And again, I'm using my um, artisan Bible with the two inch margins. And this is a red letter edition. As you can see, Jesus's words are in red. And again, my Momentum 2023 Bible. So. John 17, 17 in the New Testament. And I love, Tracy used the um, W.E.B. version in the kit. And it says, sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. Um, you know, sanctification is a process that we all go through. Um, justification happens when we accept Jesus. Uh, as our Savior, and sanctification happens throughout our life as we grow in our in our relationship and we grow in our walk. Sanctification is an ongoing process by the Holy Spirit, and how does that happen? Well, prayer 
and what? Staying in the word, in the truth, right? So we're going to journal this first. It's beautiful. I want to go ahead and get started with my, I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit. So I'm going to be starting with my Distress inks and my texture paste. So I'm going to open my texture paste and I'm going to get my palette knife. Um, I believe I'm going to go ahead and start with this abandoned coral color. So I'm just going to, I have just an old ice cream lid. That's what I usually use. And I'm just going to put out some ink here on on my ice cream lid. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of texture paste, not much. I'm going to put that down and just mix that. with that ink. And this is new to me as well. Um, not just the embossing powders, but also using texture paste and distress inks. So I'm just going to add a little more down here to make that color a little more vibrant. Pick this up and just move it over to where my ink is. Just to give it a richer color and I'm just going to almost like I use my card to spread acrylic paints. I'm just going to use my palette knife and add some color to my page here. Try to pick it up with the back side of my knife here. You could also use this with a stencil. Just going to put that on, kind of spread it. No uniformity. I'm just Putting this down. It's an interesting way, like I said, I'm just learning how to use texture paste and adding ink to it to color it and make it use it as a background. Um, and also in stencils, just very carefully put this down the same way over um, on your stencil and lift it back up. I'm going to get a baby wipe just to clean my palette knife in my workspace. And then I will move on. And do the same thing with the other two colors. So I will speed up the video as I put down the other two colors on my page. So that you don't have to watch me mix and, and move and, and whatnot. We'll just get right to it.
so I have I have added my texture paste and all three colors of my distressed or distress inks onto my page I'm just going to let that dry just a little bit well fully dry and then I am going to take my my bubble wrap here and I'm going to use the vintage photo and I'm just going to add this onto my bubble wrap and then I'm going to place my bubble wrap almost like a stamp onto my page. I'm just going to pick this up and you can see it's got the ink on it. I'm just going to press that down and lift it back up. Add some more and you could do this in any color that you choose. Try to go straight down, press straight down, and then lift straight up. Let's see, we've still got some ink on it, so we'll go up here and do the same thing. The Distress inks are so versatile, and you can do so many different things with them. I really, really like Distress inks. Almost as much as I like gelatos, but gelatos are still one of my favorite mediums to use. Okay. Just a little bit here. Still have some left. So I'm going to set my bubble wrap aside and now I'm just going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry my page here so that what I've got put down is dry before I move on. Okay, so that is dry. Now, just in the margin here, I am going to use my um, embossing ink pad. It's clear by Ranger. And let's see, this is, I don't know, it's called Swirls and Curls. And I guess... Um, it is from the Stamp Abilities. I don't even know if that company is still in business or not. But anyway, this is the way that the um, stamp looks. And it's quite a large stamp. So what I'm also going to do is get another one of these page protectors and put it under my Bible, even though I've got my, work, my workspace covered here. Um, because... This embossing powder is very, very, very fine. And I am using the Metallic Copper Super Fine in the WOW brand. So what I'm going to do first is take my stamp and open my ink pad here. And I'm just going to place my pad on my stamp. Now... I will say this about this embossing ink pad is that it's going to stay wet longer than a normal uh, stamping pad because it's almost like a glue. 
And so I've got my stamp wet. And now I am just going to take this and place it straight down on my page and apply some firm pressure because I want that that ink or glue if you will to really get on my page okay now I am going to take this wow powder and I'm going to cover where I had that ink you do kind of have to work a little bit fast and cover everywhere I put that stamp down and then I will take my Bible and I'm going to get it over my other protector here. And actually it hung on to some of that ink even though I dried my page on those dots. So that may be interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to move that. So I've got my embossing powder back in my container. All right, now I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to I don't really want it on that bottom part there or the top. I want those dots there. Okay, so I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to start it away from my project and then I will apply it and what it will do is almost set the powder. So here we go. So I don't know if you kind of noticed, um, you may not have, um, but what happens is it almost becomes wet and then you're left with that shimmer and if you can see it actually did um, stick to some of my dots there and as the heat is applied to it it becomes almost um, wet like ink but they use this in card making and it adds glitter, it adds some bling. It's just very fun to use, I think. And I like to watch it change from the actual powder to the, it's, it's embossed. And so I'm gonna take my washi tape off. Hopefully I didn't heat it too much. There we go. There we go. And now it's got a copper and raised um, texture to it. Okay. I'm going to take and highlight using my zebra mild liner 
I think I'm going to use the lighter pink. Actually, I think I'm going to use a purple just for some contrast and go ahead and highlight my verse. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Now in my, I'm using, uh, let's see, I think this is an NASB. Let's see what translation my Bible is. An NIV journal, the word by Zondervan. And I believe, yes, it is New International Version. So this is the NIV. And if you're not uh, familiar with or comfortable with using embossing powder and the ink, I'm, like I said, I'm just learning as well. And um, I'm having a great time with it, but definitely test it on a piece of cardstock or something like that before you put it in your use it in your Bible, because it does take some practice as with any new medium that you may use. Okay, so we've created the background, we have highlighted the verse, and now I'm just going to add some elements from our kit. And again, I'm not going to um, put a tab on this one. And I do think I'm going to start with the larger words. Your word is truth. Again, you could do this with acrylic paints, with um, acrylic paint markers, There's a lot of different ways you could do this, but this just adds so much, I mean, obviously the texture paste adds texture to your page. The bubble wrap adds texture, and then the embossing, it also adds texture because it is raised just a little bit, but it's so, so much fun, again. Um, so I love this bottom with the little bird. And I'm just going to lay that down there like that this I love that layering of the stickers and the elements and it just worked out to be right at the edge of the bottom of my Bible page so that is wonderful definitely want to use this butterfly. Butterflies are my favorite. Little, little creature. And I don't want to use too many um, stickers because I really like the way that that this has has turned out I just it's just so pretty <laughs> use this big bouquet here big big flower And I think I'm going to layer that, actually. With... Hmm. 
Let's see. I'm going to use this other little butterfly. Put it going over the words there. And I know that this may appear busy, um, but I just love it. No, nope, I'm not either. I'm just going to leave it like it is. However, I am going to take my black Posca pen and I'm going to go around the books and around the word or the words to make those come off the page. If you have an acrylic Maybe you have an acrylic marker or a Posca pen um, that you have that is of the same color but is a, maybe a brown. Then you could go around and, and make that those pop out. But I have a white or a black Posca pen. So I'm going to use my black and I'm going to start down here and go around and outline this so that it kind of pops off the page. things. I'm not going to add anything. I'm not going to add any um, writing or anything like that because I just really love, <laughs> I just really love the page and the texture that we added with the embossing powder as well as the texture paste. And um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but how shimmery that embossing powder is. It just adds shimmer to your page. You can kind of see it right here, uh, that copper. So I just really, um, I really wanted to share that with you. And also different ways that you could use the Distress inks and texture paste and the embossing ink and powder. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have questions, put those in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button and that bell for all notifications of new videos that are uploaded. And when they are released, we don't want you to miss anything. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye!